So a huge big welcome. Today we're going to be doing the EFT tapping and I thought we could use the theme of uh, anxiety around feeling that we're not enough. This can be a huge one that plays out for all of us as human beings from time to time and I thought we'd be quite relevant uh, to be the one to demonstrate on. So there's a setup statement and this involves like tapping on this particular point here. As I go through, I'll uh, tap on each of the relevant points. Uh, there's a, a point which is just above uh, the liver, um, which is under the breast line here on the right hand side. So tapping here as well as the facial points. And then there's one just under the arm as well. So basically it's about an arm's width. Uh, it's about here, uh, but again, just tapping in that general area area will be enough. Our bodies are very smart to know exactly what we're doing uh, in releasing those stress points as we talk through uh, whatever it is that we're actually going through at the particular time. If there's anything that I say or any words that I use that don't resonate for you, please change the wording in your own mind to be able to really resonate with what it is that you're actually feeling. EFT tapping works because we're allowing ourselves to really be honest and um, be in the truth of what we're actually experiencing and feeling. And so, as I mentioned, if you're not resonating with the words that I use 100%, please ensure that you're using words that really resonate or state or phrases that work for you personally. And again, you can apply this same training uh, with many other statements or many other situations or circumstances, be it grief or be it um, perhaps uh, a sense of despair or fear around money or fear in relationships uh, or any other event, circumstance, situation or emotion that you find yourself experiencing that is creating stress in your system. I'm a huge uh, believer and uh, love it. EFT specifically because of my background in kinesiology training, knowing full well that we hold uh, so much emotional stress within our meridians, which are energy centers or energy lines within the body that correlate to each of our organs. So uh, there is one for the lung, there's one for the stomach, there's one for the kidneys, et cetera, et cetera. And so by actually tapping on these specific points, these are actually the endpoints for a lot of those meridians are actually clearing stress on a cellular level from the body, as well as really helping the nervous system to settle and to uh, release that stress so that you're no longer in fight flight or even the freeze response. I found this very effective for any one of those nervous system survival responses and can be so fast and effective at really supporting our energy. The other thing that you may wish to throw in, I'm, I won't demonstrate it in this particular video, but it is something normally when I'm working with my one-to-one -one clients uh, that I also suggest as well, because I've found it does definitely clear things, um, certainly from my own um, experience at a much deeper level when I've been doing EFT for myself, is actually also including eye rotations with that. Often when we've gone through a difficult uh, experience in life, we will create our, uh, that stress, not that we're creating it, um, but that stress actually gets locked in at certain eye modes. So if we're looking in a particular direction, when a particular circumstance has actually happened, we will find that our eyes actually kind of get a bit glitchy. If you're attempting to do like a full clockwise and anti-clockwise uh, eye rotation, uh, like literally if I just demonstrate it doing this or this, if you're thinking about a particular subject, often you will find that uh, the eyes will be glitchy or it'll feel a little bit difficult in those particular um, circumstances. So you're actually clearing things at a deeper level uh, through going through those visual modes with those eye rotations as you tap through. Generally, how I do that is on each tapping point. So if I was using the top tapping point, as an example, uh, I'd be stating how I'm feeling, even though I'm feeling um, exhausted or even though I'm feeling really stressed about this situation, I deeply and completely love, value and accept myself. Or you might just be stating how you actually feel and doing the eye rotations with that. Sorry, I did say I wasn't going to demonstrate that, um, not throughout the entire video, um, but that is something that you can include and you just do an eye rotation on each of the tapping points. So every time you change tapping points, just do one or two eye rotations clockwise and anti-clockwise as well as you're doing the tapping. Okay, let's get started. So find yourself in a comfortable position. I'm going to take my glasses off to do this uh, simply because we tap on eye modes around the eyes and it's much easier to do without glasses. So we'll get started. 
as I mentioned, I'll use the statement um, around feeling that I'm not good enough or feeling that I'm not being enough. Um, so even though, so tapping on the, this is the karate chop point, and uh, we say the setup statement three times, and you can, again, change this into your own language and or state what's true for you as well. So even though I feel like I'm not enough and I feel a deep sense of despair around that, I deeply and completely love, value and accept myself. Even though at times I feel like I'm not enough and I'm not doing enough and I should be doing more, I deeply and completely love, value and accept myself. Even though I feel really stressed and I feel like I put so much pressure on myself to try and get it all right and get it all done and I feel like I'm not enough, I deeply and completely love, value and accept myself. Feeling so stressed and feeling so torn right now. Feeling that I'm just not enough and I'm not doing enough. Feeling that I'm letting everyone down and I should be doing more. I feel so disappointed in who I'm being and how I'm feeling. I just feel exhausted. I feel so angry that I'm in this place and I feel like I'm not enough and there's so much just anger at myself. I'm so scared that this is never going to change and I'm constantly going to be living with this pain. I feel so raw when I feel like I'm not enough. I feel so insecure and I feel like everybody's judging me. I feel so exhausted when I believe the thought I'm not enough. I just feel so much shame in my body about it. I feel so tired when I feel that I'm not enough. I feel like I just can't stop. I've got to keep going and I can't rest. I feel so annoyed that I feel this way. I just want to be able to stop and rest. I feel like I'm just not enough. I feel so exhausted when I believe this thought. I feel such a sense of despair with myself when I believe this. I'm just so angry at myself. I feel like I should be able to do more and get things done so much faster than what I'm currently doing them. I just feel tired. I'm tired and I'm just scared. I can't keep going this way. I'm feeling so frustrated. But I feel like I'm just not enough and it doesn't matter how much I do. I keep putting this pressure on myself. Maybe I don't have to put all this pressure on myself. That does feel a little bit better without that thought that I'm not being enough. I am feeling a little bit calmer. There's a lot that I actually do in a day. I try to be so many things for so many people. And maybe I don't have to do that anymore. I feel calmer already just acknowledging that. And I feel like I can breathe a little bit more. I 
it does feel better. It does feel better just to relax and realize I don't actually have to do it all. I am feeling calmer overall. So that's just an example of doing three rounds. Uh, if you're still feeling uh, like quite a lot of emotion around that, you could actually pause this or um, go back to doing a couple more rounds of uh, the negative first. I always like to end with the positive, but only when it's um, a, a very accurate reflection of how I'm actually really feeling. As I tap through, generally I do feel calmer and calmer. Uh, so it is just literally stating Again, making sure that what you're sharing with yourself or what words you're using actually are the truth and really resonate with how you actually feel. Um, if, like I mentioned, you get to the end of the three rounds, you weren't feeling calm, keep going with a couple more rounds. Again, doing those eye rotations can definitely help to clear things at a little bit uh, deeper level and uh, keep going with it until you do get to that place where things do feel a little bit calmer, even if it's just 5%. But sometimes just even acknowledging that, again, our language is very powerful for our body and what we're actually communicating or telling ourselves. And so it's like in that acknowledgement of just even 5% feeling a little bit calmer, uh, being able to acknowledge that helps the rest of the body to go, oh, yeah, I know what calmness feels like and to embrace more of that as well as you actually move through that tapping sequence. Have a great day.